So before I kick off with Sai, I'd just like to invite you to ask yourself, what's yellow and square? A banana that's into classical music. Over to you, Sai. All right, this is Cher's Wardrobe, a UX study. If you've never seen the film Clueless, this is Cher's Wardrobe. Seriously, I actually have a way normal life for a teenage girl. I mean, I get up, I brush my teeth, and I pick out my school clothes. All right, so that shares wardrobe. So when we start, we're given this screen. We have the browse button, which is highlighted for some reason. Does that mean we can click on it? I don't know. We'll find out. But anyway, share presses the browse button, and that highlights some other buttons in the UI, which then proceed to scroll the tops and then scroll the, the um, skirts. Then she presses the dress me button, which now highlights. So does the highlight mean you can press this button? Does it mean you have pressed this button? Does it mean the software has pressed this button for you? I have literally no idea. Furthermore, like, this browse button is not a browse button. You could browse by pressing these arrows. The browse button is a randomized outfit button. It's terribly named, so that should change. Also, when she presses dress me, it says mismatch. Now, this is a fairly good feature, but what if we decide this outfit is actually kind of cute and we want to wear it? Well, there's no obvious way that we can just sk um, skip this screen and decide to wear it anyway. There's no obvious way. So that's kind of a pain. But fortunately, in this case, Cher doesn't like the outfit, so she browses again and it generates her a new one. Now we have another inconsistency. When there was a mismatch, she had to press the Dress Me button for it to say mismatch. But now, as soon as the randomization is finished, the software says, oh, this is a match. So it highlights these buttons. Again, what does that mean? I wouldn't know. It also changes one to be Auto Dress. So we have Auto Dress and Dress Me. What is the difference between these two buttons? I have literally no idea. So, you know, I have some problems with the UX here. There's some things which are kind of cool, like, you know, we have this wireframe model and then um, share populates and then her outfit goes on. So there's some things which I really like, but there's some details of this which just have me totally bug in. Like she's using this as a touch screen, all right? If we zoom on it, in on these buttons, the font here, this is the Chicago font. The Chicago font was designed by the legendary Susan Kerr for Apple Macs. Now, did Apple Macs ever have a touch screen as if, no. So like, what kind of hardware is she running in her room in order to change her outfits? Some kind of like experimental early Mac? I don't know, this is so weird. And furthermore, like she would have to have her entire wardrobe programmed into this thing. This is at rest, so like you could feasibly get this from like a shop API or something. But she'd also need this all of the clothes on her in order to program this thing. So like, this is a lot of photography and engineering work. Is this like custom built software she has to pick her outfits in the morning? This is ridiculous, like what's going on? So maybe she has like some kind of family connections or something. Let's have a look. So we have her father, um, Mel Horowitz, who's a litigator. And he actually seems to kind of hate computers. Like he uses paper and pen for pretty much everything. He doesn't even have a computer on his desk, even though he's rich and his daughter has one for literally changing her clothes. So what's going on there? There's her mum, probably not her because she died when she was a child, but it could be maybe Josh, her stepbrother. But, you know, he's just a freshman in college and lives with his parents, so that's kind of unlikely. He also never ages. But what about Josh's mum, which is Cher's stepmom? Um, the parents got divorced like five years ago, but... Maybe there's something there. Um, we don't ever see her, um, Josh's mum. Her name is Gail. She phones at one point to check in on him. But um, maybe there's something to this. So I, I did a bit of digging and I found this list of Apple employees by badge number. And it turned out if I scroll down to the bottom, in fact, right near Susan Kerr's name is Gail Horowitz, the head of experimental hardware division. And this explains everything. This explains why Mel hates computers because it reminds me of his failed marriage. It explains why Cher has ridiculous experimental hardware in her room to pick her clothes. It explains why, you know, all of this ridiculous software is there and kind of has bad UX because probably Gail just made it to make her stepdaughter feel good. Because as Dickens said, tis a far, far better thing to do good stuff for other people. Thank you. That is awesome. My eyes are open. Thank you, Sai. Why did it take so long to bury the man who wrote the hokey cokey? Because when they put him in the coffin, they put his left arm in and then he took his left arm out. Anyway, 